Come on, and tell me nothing. But well, at least I'll kiss my ass, dog. Jamma, you ain't finished this face yet? Is it so bad? You make him feel like the old face? You need a overhaul. I don't go Julius Abbey for foundation. <laughs> you get the shoes? Because they will ask me. See? Morning, Natty. My partner, Natty, in New York. She said, Rachel, I see the shoes. I shot a camion. No. It's not when night she looking to wash. Yeah, I don't want them to wash camion. People don't wash 11 o'clock in the night. Alright, so we ready? Hello again. Um, where we starting? This is 2015. Nice to see you. I cannot believe that my last vid vlog was what? Not, not last year. That's too much of a cliche. Nine months, ten months, uh, almost a year ago. Wow. Huh. I greeted the new year in a bit of a zone because someone that I had grown to love passed away, made her transition, died, anyhow you take it. And you know some people in coming into your life, they give you certain lessons and some people in leaving your life give you certain lessons, leave you with certain lessons as well. This particular individual, her name was Joanne. Let me tell you briefly how we met. One morning on radio, she called and say, hi, Pricey, good morning. Um, what's that? Yes. So one morning she called, this lady called, and she said, hi, Pricey. And started to talk to us and she said she was calling from the San Fernando General Hospital where she had been for quite some time waiting on a CT scan and the CT scan machine or the, I believe there are two machines they were working so this lady her name is Joanne was in the hospital for more than two months waiting on a CT scan. So she called, not for money, but just to highlight the plight of people that don't have it. They're not financially able to afford the CT scan because the doctors kept suggesting that she do it privately. How ironic. And the irony of it, the same doctors that telling her was suggesting to do it privately, they have a CT scan machine that walk in. And it was $3,000. So I asked her, I said, how much money it is for the CT scan? Because she was crying. You could hear it on, in her voice. I said, how much money was it for the CT scan? And she said, 3000 And I said, I will put a 1000 And well, between Trumpet and Tim Tim, I think they put another 1000 And other people started to give us money and different callers. Hello, David Wales. David Wales, a good friend of mine, a photographer, extraordinaire. He dropped off money as well. And all in all, we gathered quite a considerable sum, more than the 3000 which was deposited into her account. So she was able to have it done. But by that time, the cancer was spreading so rapidly, you know, there wasn't much they could do for her. Now, I spoke to her, my last con I spoke to her every day since, or I had spoken to her every day since. So, I'd spoken to her every day, because we exchanged numbers, and she texted us and stuff, and I'd spoken to her every day since she called. And my last conversation with her would have been Christmas night. So I spoke to her Christmas Eve, and she said, Rachel, you know, it's bad. And I buff her up, you know, I rear rag her up, I say, pull up yourself. We're not dealing with the negative. We're going forward positively. And I know plenty of people that beat cancer, and you could beat cancer. I guess in my zeal and my haste to boost her up. 
I didn't realize how far down, you know, spiritually or and even physically, because she was in a lot of pain. We were talking about the pain all the time. And I tell her that the pain temporary. Only for a little moment. So Joanne decided no more pain. Because death and life are decisions. And I believe that she really couldn't take it anymore. So on New Year's night, New Year's Eve, that was it. And we, this nation, lost a daughter and me a friend. I meet people all the time. As much as I'm a bitch. <laughs> people call and reach out to me all the time. And a lot of people touch me in many ways. And this particular woman touched me. She had three beautiful children and a family that loved her and still love her and love her still. And she, I know that death is just a doorway. And Joanne, wherever she is, is at least to me pain free in this, this physical realm. I'm really going to get emotional, so let me stop it one time. Because I've gone through every emotion possible dealing with her death. Every single one. I went from bawling and crying and drama by myself to deep sadness and personal reflection. And then I was hollow for a while. Because, you know, some people don't like to question God. But being the child that I am of my creator, I question my God. I ask questions. I go before my God all the time. Lord, why this particular woman, she wanted to live. Hopes and dreams. And family and friends. And I keep asking myself if she'd gotten the treatment earlier. If she'd gotten the test earlier. Would she still be alive today? So this is where I'm at. Because now I fucking vex. I went through every emotion, I tell you. So now is the vex and angry stage. Because this country, we have to be shitted in some fucking tall, tall grass. We don't know we ass from we elbow as a nation. Me and really particularly give a fuck about the government. Because whether the government in, whether the government out, whether Kamala and them, they rowly day tomorrow, it does not matter. This is an election year. And in an oil producing country with so many natural resources, we produce natural gas. We have money. At least we have enough money for the politicians, the leeches, to thief, swindle, connive, bribe. We have it. So we didn't have it or see it fit to have these city scams working that this woman would be alive. Let her death, death not be in vain. You can tell me. I like to hear when people say, well, you know, they have free health. Health is not free. The hospital is not free. San Fernando General, Port of Spain General, and Mount Hope. It is not free. We pay for it. Health so fucking charge. Them high taxes, VAT. But the service is deplorable. When you get a good nurse in any of our public facilities, hold on the fucking sheep. Start to bless God. Go to the Orishas. One time. Head up this scale. Bless all the entities possible. That that divide.
divine light reach you in the form of a good news. Doctors giving you bad diagnosis, diagnosis, normal, normal, normal. Prescribing wrong medication with no ramifications for their actions. Nurses burning babies the other day, TNT, in this land of ours. A nurse burn a child so bad the child lose his hand. And it was a burn or the the I want to be I want to be sure. I want to get your false facts. So they I think they placed um an injection or censure in something. Went on with a newborn baby. Let me be very clear. I don't think this was the burn. But bad aftercare. And the child lost his hand. They had to do surgery. The child lost his hand. And the mother is quite calm. Now I tell it myself, I now make a child. And the nurses they take care of my baby properly. And you walking around with your hand. You still look like a fucking clock. But I just me. Because if my child lose his hand, you will lose yours. I just me. I just might again. What madness this. Somebody is dead, and she's not the first. And I pray God that she will be the last to suffer at the hands of this unholy system. So what are we there raising banner and what a happy new year? And I in my grief because I hold on to this. Talking about change for 2015. Change? What change? What change? The government, this government, this PP partnership fuckery that me for us. And don't get me wrong, eh? Because I get an equal power. The PM, PNM has had its turn, and if they get its turn again, the fuckery steps up, they will get their level of cost. particular government has chosen I don't know under whose advisement who advice because Kamala always advised to run some ads your government working for you and they've been running it for quite some time so I want to ask them now that my partner dead which government worked for her explain show me the government is working for we. The government has been working for themselves. I tell you so. We had a lot of money missing. Come, watch me. We're going to do a, a, a D10 back and out for 2014. We're doing it tonight. Or we just give them a little teaser. Because I ain't no proper zone to be politically correct if I ever am. One set of back and out, we had the life sport. Madness. They can't account for life support millions. Millions. That have just disappeared. They can't start to talk about life support money yet. But the Minister of Sport, Adam Roberts at the time, resigned. So I suppose with his resignation comes the feeling that, well, it's all over, it's all good now, the minister gone. But where the money? Where the money? So Anil is a bacchanal we will get in because it has more in the Anil bacchanal. Where the money? Tell me. Once you resign, it's okay. So if a man thief a car and he working as a gas station attendant, if you resign from the gas station and they bring back the car, it's all good. I'm trying to think, figure out the simplest analogies to come up with the assness that passing as commonplace sense for us in this land for Christmas. They put up a set of posters of Kamala smiling. 
all in red, all over the country. They said they were strategically placed in certain areas so that I want to quote Vassan, we, 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 we can't get caught, so that they would spread some feeling of cheer as the Prime Minister wishes the country good for Christmas. What the fuck? Because every time I see them post that ah, camera, me didn't get no good warm feeling. Nausea is the new warm feeling. And then they want to say, well, it's only $60,000 spent on the posters or the ba billboards or the banners or whatever the fuck it was. 60000 for each one, Vassant, or 60000 for all? Because a size, a, a banner that size is 60000 for one. So right away, you ain't getting no good warm feeling. As a matter of fact, hearing that it's $60,000 for one is a shitty feeling if we handle proper CT scans in the hospital. So explain with priorities. Kiamla, look me. It is my right to talk. It is my democratic right, I live in a democracy, to talk. So I am asking of my leaders to explain these jackass posters that only had all about the place with Kamala telling me, Merry Christmas and grinning like a Cheshire cat. And we don't have proper working facilities in the hospital. I'd rather the city scan working than she grinning at me for 60,000 a poster. We could have done it all that. 60,000 a, bill, a billboard? Or 60,000 for all? That's my question. Because fuck we reigneth. Explain. The shallow minded and those that cannot look beyond or hear beyond the cussing, fuck you. And not with my pussy. My vocabulary is vast. Very, very well. I would. I'm well read and to a large extent intelligent. I'm not as stupid as I look. I choose to cuss. I'm cussing in my house. A matter of fact, right now, at me. And what's placed on the internet? Free speech. You know what people just call me oh, and slut? Feel fucking free. It's not what you call, it's what you answer to. We want to take off on the little nitty gritties, Richard Price, using obscene language. What is obscene? Me cussing in the place? On Facebook or YouTube? Or the fact that citizens in this land dying unnecessarily? Just for proper health care that we paying for. For the want of a nail, a war was lost. Every time I look at the country, I tell myself, Father God, Henry V. Once more to the bridge. I don't get us. Where we going? Senselessly. We going to stop this for now? Because I really don't want to carry this no further. Joanne has passed. And in her passing, I guess, a new idea and a con new level of consciousness awoke in me. And yet again, I had to make a decision about loving my country and its people, us, as a people. This is 2015. And to every single fan and supporter, I thank you. I live my life right now just walking in gratitude for breath, for life, for family. Every little thing I give God thanks for. Everybody asked me the other day about what has what has do with the haters. I have no haters. I have people that are fans in denial. Ha! 
I have no enemies. Of course, I have people that don't like me. I have people that I don't like either. But I don't declare in this universe anyone my enemy. When you declare someone your enemy, you declare them your equal. Me, I no equal. This blessed 2015 with the carnival season, straight puzzly. You know, we coming back and get all that back and all too because I hear in some jackass music that can't even be classified as music. I use it as a loose term. But I, Rachel, and the entire Pricey family, we wish you the blessings of health, the blessings of wealth, the blessings of prosperity, the blessings of joy, the blessings of peace, and the divine blessings of your almighty God be with us all. Have a good one, Tianti.